Hey, it's Evan Carmichael. Welcome to another Technology Tuesday. Today, I'm gonna to be looking at and breaking down a Facebook fan page for one of my YouTube viewers, Peter Elvidge, and giving some suggestions on how to make it better. So Peter wrote into me and said, would you be able to check out my page? All my art is there, my videos, links, but I'm locking on likes to the page. My art is something unique and it's booming, but my Facebook page is my home for it all. Pointers, ideas, people you know who would be interested in the page. And he sent the link, hope to hear back. So I checked out the page and this is it. And uh, here's Peter and here's some of the artwork that he's making. Now when I first saw this, I didn't understand what this was. This is actually in uh, Minecraft. So he's making these, these pictures in Minecraft. So he's got Bart Simpson and Snoopy and a whole bunch of other ones that he's made. And he tells a little bit about his story here. It says, pixel artist Peter Elvid describes his experience as a blind pixel artist and he's got 28 likes and not too much uh, activity happening on here. So Peter, I have three tips for you. Number one is tell your story. When I go to your page, I see your face on there. It says that you're a blind pixel artist. I'm curious, I wanna learn more. How are you blind and you're also creating visual art? It's very interesting to me. I wanna know your story, right? You should have a video talking about your story. You on camera, just looking into the camera and saying, here's why I started, here's how I do it. Tell me why you got started. Tell me what you hope to accomplish. If you can make it personal, if you can make me feel something, then I'm much more likely to stay connected to you, to your page, look forward to the next thing that's coming out. So you have the makings of a really interesting story, Tell it, share pictures, share video. Let me know who you're all about, why you're doing this, why it's important. Draw me in and I'm more likely to stay there. Number two is time-lapse videos. So I love what you're doing with the art and it's great to see Bart Simpson and Snoopy and, and, and the cats and dragons. I'm curious, so how did you make it? You know, some of the best videos that I've seen online are when you show the process. So not just the end result, but I'm curious, how do you make that in Minecraft? I know of Minecraft, but I'm not a player myself. I remember I played one game and I didn't fully understand it and I dug this huge hole in the ground and I kind of got lost and stuck and I couldn't get out. Like, this is too frustrating. I'm done with Minecraft. So maybe at some point I'll get back on, but uh, more of a League of Legends person right now. Anyway, I digress. Coming back to your story here, show me how you make this. How long does it take? Does it take you days to do this? Hours? I have no idea. Show me the process because that's the cool part. Not just seeing the finished result, but how you actually go about making them. So each of these videos now that you do should be time-lapse videos instead of just showing the final product. And number three is connect with other YouTubers. If you want your message to get out there, if you want your message to spread, send tribute videos to popular YouTubers, so people who you look up to, people who you follow, people whose videos that you love watching, make art of them. Make a time-lapse video of them in Minecraft. Uh, there's one guy named Nathan Shields who makes pancake art. I don't know if you've seen this guy online, where he takes this mix of pancakes in a, in a bottle and he squeezes it out into, into the pan and he makes beautiful art. And he made one of me, and as a result, I share it, right? I created an artist page and I put it there and I linked to his YouTube channel and I'm happy to go and spread the message. I'm talking about him here in this video. So connect with YouTubers, do art of them. And if it's Facebook you want more traction on, connect with popular Facebookers who you love and do art of them and show them a time-lapse video. It's probably the first time anybody's ever made a Minecraft time-lapse art video of them, they're gonna appreciate it. They're probably gonna share it. That gets you more attention, gets you more credibility, gets you more momentum. So if these people are already uh, individuals that you look up to, you respect, you're following, give them that little tribute video. It'll make you feel great, it'll make them feel great, and they're likely to share it, help spread your message, and drive people to the page that you want them to see. I hope that helps, Peter. Thank you for the great question. For those of you watching, you like the video, you can subscribe to the channel, see more just like it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Oh, and believe. If you want more believe energy running through your veins, sign up for the newsletter below. It's free. You're going to love it. Hi. I'm Jason J. Raz Fonseca of RazOnline.com, and I want to say Evan Carmichael's newsletter is consistent, fun, inspiring, and it's the only newsletter I prioritize and look forward to, period.